environmental hazard. Solar output has overwhelmed Haystrom's protective magnetosphere. Exposure to direct sunlight will damage your shields. I'm having serious issues with my shields. We need to stay out of the sunlight. Incoming drop. Chip. What's this? Understood. This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? Patch your radio into Channel 617 Theta. We were on a stealth mission, high risk. We found what we were after. The Geth found us. They've got us pinned down. Can't get to our ship. Can't transmit data through the solar radiation. Any idea where the Geth came from?
Do we have to worry about the Geth sending in reinforcements? I don't think so. Their patrol ship hasn't lifted off again. The radiation blocks all off-world communication. What brought you this deep into Geth-controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. Something about the sun is going bad faster than it should. Some kind of energy problem. What's the status of your team? How many of you are left? We were a small squad. Dozen Marines plus the science team. How are you holding up? We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all to hell. We're bunkered down at base camp across the valley. I left Tally Zora at a secure shelter, then doubled back to hold the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep him off you. You've got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet? Affirmative. Left my best men with her. When you get here, you can talk to her on the comm. Every Marine on this rock is sworn to protect Tally Zora. As long as one of us is still drawing air, she'll be safe. You're gonna throw your life away for research? Negative. I'm gonna give my life for the migrant fleet, all the difference in the world. I'm no tech expert, Shepard, I'm a Marine. They tell me to shoot, I shoot. They said to protect Tally and the data. You get them out safe, I've done my job. Hold position, we'll hit their back ranks. Wait, watch your ass, we got a dropship coming in. You bet. Clocked hostiles. Look sharp. Engaging target. There Talk we go. Deployed. Attacking target. My pleasure. Easy enough. I'm on it. Understood. Easy enough. We need a core sample to get a timeline on the rate of radiation increase, but our equipment keeps dying on us. Shepard once used a mining laser to clear some rubble back on Therum. Maybe I can do something similar with demolition charges. Oh. 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 Oh.
we go. With you. Coming. It's next to impossible to get accurate solar measurements. The radiation keeps burning out our equipment. This sun shouldn't be like this. It was stable a few hundred years ago. Stars don't die that quickly. It's next to impossible to get accurate solar measurements. The radiation keeps burning out our equipment. I'm on it. This should do it. I recommend we move clear. These buildings are Quarian. This colony predates the Geth Uprising. And why would the Quarians come here? Whatever they're after, I hope it's worth it. Our ancestors walked these halls with uncovered heads. The sun must have been normal back then. So much space, walls of stone. It's amazing. I wish my friends could see it. I wish Shepard were here. Tally, it's Shepard. I'm sorry, everyone here is dead. Any survivors must have fallen back. We knew this mission was high risk, damn it. And what are you doing here, Shepard? We're in the middle of Geth space. I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Carl Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got to the data I needed, and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of Geth outside. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the Geth outside. What's this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell 
tell you more about it once we've got fewer Geth shooting at us. Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth and the console is damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. I see you, Shepard. Looks like they're trying to have an optical camouflage system. Observatory is reinforced. Even the Geth will need time to get through it. <laughs> and it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at you. The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. It huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, and one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. The Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. 
What can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there, but none of my men made it past the get. Riddle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. Any ideas on how to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. But the repair protocol blows that plan to hell. We try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do, has to scrap that bastard fast. Probably means getting up close, past that cover. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one! I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. <sighs> we don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down! I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. <clears throat> All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit him for me. Keep us alive. Trouble ahead. Gotcha.
door to keep more Geth from getting inside. There, that should do it. Just let me finish this download. That's all of them. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. A lot of Quarians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some Admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Well, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty Board and let him know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizor. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet, but I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Talizor the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. I'll be in engineering if you need me. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. My female intuition says she wants to be more than just good friends. What makes you say that? It's in her body language. How she turns to you when you enter the room. How she watches your every move. Corians are so fascinating to me. But they also make me a little sad. 
Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful, but with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets, or what their skin feels like under those suits. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I do for you. Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Gath on Hastrum, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while. Or on an unsecured channel, for that matter. Tell me about the fleet's admiralty board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship. I know you need resources to fight the Collectors, but be careful, Shepard. I caught some tension back on Freedom's Progress and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Idena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian people. I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel Syndrome. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar Illuminated Primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Do you need something? 
You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emon Kira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Shepard. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man, or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens, and doesn't share them with others. As it should be. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander.
Grunt seems very agitated. You may want to check in on him. something. Change weapon.
limited intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Data uploaded to Alliance Command.
message coming in from the Elusive Man. Patch him in through the comm room. The Elusive Man wishes to speak to you in a deep briefing. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no Mass Effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. The missing colonists might be aboard, if they're still alive. same containers the collectors used on Horizon. Only these are empty. Horrible. Trapped in these pods, completely at the mercy of the collectors. Does just leave a pile of bodies lying around. Must have been used for testing. I'd say these subjects didn't pass. There are worse things than death, like being a test subject for twisted aliens. Is that
that supposed to make me feel better? Because it didn't. That's a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster, but there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes, reduced heterochromatin structure, elimination of superfluous junk sequences. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. They're not doing to us what they did to the Protheans. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Think of full. Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Looks interesting. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. Looks like some kind of control panel. Where are the bodies of the Collector crew? 
Careful, Shepard. Something doesn't feel right about this. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the Collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Can't be good. Everyone's all right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back out now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The Collector's root source. It is unusual. Seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're up. This is a bad time to become an optimist, Shepard. No. The commander's right. There must be some other explanation. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move.
our harbinger. Those 
weapons are about to come online. Might want to double time it, you know, so we can leave before they blow the Normandy in half. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Cut the act. You set us up, and you better have a damn good reason for it. We needed information on the Omega-4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Agreed. But I don't like surprises, especially when my ass is on the line. I put you at risk, yes. But without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. 
I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. Aren't brown dwarves basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again, and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. Can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy, and we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. 